I owe you a follow-up on this bandsaw app, and I'm going to do that at the end of this video. First, I want to talk about the Grabo that Izzy Swan has been working on. If you haven't seen it, you should watch Izzy Swan's video on this portable vacuum suction tool that's primarily been used to move like pieces of stone and, and countertop and, and things like that. Uh, around in, in that industry, Izzy's looking at ways to broaden out uh, applications for it. Uh, he's doing some really cool stuff, as always, because he's Izzy. So check out that video. We've been kicking around ideas for what this could do, and I came up with one uh, that I thought was cool enough to explore here on my channel. So that's what I'm going to take a look at. So what I'm going after here with the Grabo is template routing. Now, I love template routing, but really hate double stick tape, especially if I have a template that I'm going to use a lot of times. Double stick tape is just so irritating to mess with. And I've tried to go after this in the past without much success, uh, but the Grabo really struck me as something that could be useful for this problem. To hold a template to the workpiece with vacuum uh, and then quickly release it. You can pop in a new template. Once you have a template that works in this way, you can really be batching out some stuff fast. So what I tried here first was a large template where the template is larger than the Grabo so that the entire suction area of the Grabo is, is covered by template. This is the easier case. Now all I ended up needing to do was drill some holes in the template, which is, you know, if you're making a template, knocking some holes in it is really easy. I tried just putting the Grabo down on the MDF and using the, the vacuum that it pulls through the MDF to hold the template wasn't enough. Had to drill the holes, but that's pretty easy. Once I did this, it worked really well. I had enough suction to hold the workpiece uh, to the template through the Grabo, and then it just releases when you're done. So easy success on a large template. But if this is going to be a solution for template routing, the first thing everybody's going to bring up is like chair legs and slimmer templates that, that aren't as big as the suction area of the Grabo. And this really isn't a complete solution unless you can figure out how to do those templates with the Grabo. So the first thing I tried was making a adapter for the Grabo to kind of concentrate its suction to just the center so that it could all be contained within uh, a, a thin template and I used some o-rings here just to try to get the seal uh, at, this is after failing without those o-rings so it's not the first thing that I went to but it, even even that didn't work so I needed to go a different direction with this if I was gonna have a thin template solution to show you uh, and Izzy suggested using the vacuum adapter that he is selling he's making and selling these um, and and on his video he shows how this adapter can be used to turn the Grabo into like a, a vacuum uh, bag clamping solution and really any pulling vacuum out of resin, any anything that you would use a vacuum pump for, this lets you do the same thing with, with the Grabo. He suggested using this, uh, so I gave that a go. I did need to put some gasket material on the template. I bought this from McMaster Car. If you're interested in doing this, there's a link in the description for exactly what that product is. Uh, I, I would have loved to come up with something that's just going to be standard shop stuff, you know, an MDF only. It just wasn't enough enough vacuum. You needed that that seal and a larger suction area on a thin template uh, to get the most out of uh, the, the pressure to keep the workpiece held to the template. So once that gasket material is, is on there, you can just put the template down on your workpiece uh, and use a hose uh, with, with an adapter that I just screwed right into the MDF. That, that was enough any kind of leaking you know this thing is continually pulling air so if there's a little bit of leaking that's not a problem it just if it gets to be too much there's it's only moving so much air and then you lose your suction but this seemed to work uh, you just need an adapter hose screwed into the template and some gasket material I will say it takes a little bit longer to construct this template so you're probably in a position where if you're just using a template for one thing then it's easier to just use double stick tape because making the adapter and the gasket and everything is more fussing around than the time it would take. But to be quite on, honest, if you're only making one of something, you're probably not template routing because you could just shape the workpiece the way you want it and not even deal with shaping a template at all. So I would say for the majority of cases, this is still going to be better than dealing with uh, double stick tape, at least in my opinion, 
given my hatred for double stick tape. So, there you go. I don't really think this is enough on its own to justify the purchase of a Grabo. They're, they're not cheap. Izzy Swan's selling them. There's a link in the description for, for his website to see where he's selling them, uh, by the way. But I think it is another potential use case. And if you can say, well, I, I would move some drywall and sheet goods with this, I could use it as a vacuum pump for removing resin and doing uh, the, like the vacuum bag clamping. And now I can also use it for template routing. Now you're building a pretty compelling case uh, to justify the cost, in my opinion, you know, but you make the call for your shop. So that's that. Now let's talk about the Bansai app. If you don't know, you can watch this video. I launched an app several weeks ago that uses the phone's microphone to tell you if your bandsaw blade is tensioned properly. I thought it was ready. It wasn't. I launched it too soon. I'm sorry for the frustration that's caused. There are two issues that came up that I wasn't expecting. One of them is that the app was crashing on Android phones. I didn't test it on enough versions of Android. Didn't appreciate how different a lot of those models of phones are. So for those folks who were frustrated and left bad reviews and returned it, I get it. I, that's, that's, I, I deserve every bit of that. I should have done more work on it. If you have the Android version and you haven't updated it, you can go in and update a version that will not crash. That was the biggest problem. Um, so sorry about that. That issue should be fixed. If it's not, there's instructions to give me the details uh, and, and I'll continuously be working on this. Any, any money that I make from this will immediately go back into programming something better uh, until it's, it's really good. So I'll make it good. The next issue is trickier. For some people, the app always tells you that the bandsaw blade is too tight. And I think that this is happening because in order to give you a good reading, the blade has to ignore the higher harmonics of vibration. So if it's not looking at the fundamental vibrating frequency of the blade, then it will give you an erroneous reading. Now the audio analysis, the algorithm that's going in and trying to figure this out has been updated since the initial version. It should be better. This issue I may be still chasing for a while. And if you're having this issue, there are instructions in the description of this video that tell you how to use the app to output a log from the app that you can email to me and I'll get to my programmer who will then use that information to continuously improve the algorithm and, and chase these issues that people are seeing. This audio analysis stuff is, is pretty tricky, but like I said, it's, it's better than it was on the initial launch and I'll continue to use anything I make from this app to, con to, to improve it and make it better. And if you purchase the app, you'll have access to all the upgrades I make from now until forever. Sorry it wasn't perfect right out of the gate. I learned a lot about doing technology projects. They're different than physical products. They <laughs> have their own, own set of challenges. Uh, so appreciate you hanging with me. And thanks to everyone who's submitted feedback and given me a lot of good information to improve it to this point. So I appreciate that. That's all I got for now. Take care and I'll catch you next time.